And I want to say aloha kako. I'm Malia Nobriga Oliveira. And as always, I'm excited to join you from Hanapepe Kauai, from my Onehanao. And I want to say aloha to Maka and want to ask him to unmute himself and just tell us who you are and where you're tuning in from today. Awesome. Aloha kako. Hi, Malia. Hi. <laughs> well, first, I wanted to just um, say mahalo kiakua for this opportunity and all the blessings that he has given. And then I also wanted to start with this. Pili pa o kaua meke aloha pume hana no le moki hana me kama ile ili aloha no ia pili pa o kaua e i ke kauma i ke oli oli uka i ke kai. I ka honua, i ka lani, aloha ke akua pilipa o kaua e, aloha e, aloha kako e. Aloha. Hey, you know, I'm so happy. I'm uh, Kumumaka um, Herod um, from the island of Kauai. Of course, born and raised in Haleiwa and then made my way to Kauai in 89. Um, um, and to uh, help with um, Uncle Nathan, as well as our um, Ohana Church uh, that was founded in Koloa, Kauai. And so I'm here representing the Malie Foundation and the Kauai Mokihana Festivals as one of our uh, largest events that we uh, host here on the island. And it's been 36 years. Wow, 36 years. And who is this beautiful Kanaka behind you? In I your know. <laughs> you know, I had to include him and only because, of course, he's one of the founders and um, he's the only one out of the three, um, his two good friends, Ekolu Panui and also Larry Duhai Longsword, who together created the group Malie and they went all over the world singing Hawaiian and Hawaiian contemporary music um, for everybody. And they just loved it. They also loved composing and recording um, and then doing some controversy stuff out there. <laughs> so, you know, so this is um, in the back of me is um, Uncle Nathan Kalama. Um, unfortunately, he was is unable to um, join us because he's in um, the Haukapila <laughs> or <clears throat> hospital. But you know what? We lift him up because he's going to be a part of us in every way. Yes. And so Uncle Nathan, um, actually, it was his idea to come up with the Kauai Mokihana or to start a Kauai Mokihana festival composers contest that was in 1984 and then they started in 1985 so that was the um the beginning um the first um composers which is only um one event back then and then today it blossomed into a seven day event <clears throat> so it's really um it's grown so good um he's so he started it back in um 85 with the hopes to encourage Kauai uh, composers or co people to compose songs of this era um, so that our next generation and their on could um, understand what was happening during this time. As we do with Auntie Lita Machado, and their songs, and then also our Ali'i songs as well, to know what was happening at that time. And so that was their vision. They also like to uh, compete against each other. So Larry would come to practice, and then he, was, he would be singing his song, and then they would be asking, oh, what song is that? Oh, um, I composed this song just last night what? And then the next time uncle will come and do his song and then that, um, Ecole would, you know, they would just play and go back and forth. And that's how they created that um, bond. Um, and then also uh, the encouragement to 
uh, for young musicians, even older musicians, to ho'omau in what they so love to do. I really <clears throat> love that, Maka. And, you know, I've always loved that about the Malie Foundation and the, the hakumele component Aye. of it. Because, you know, even in the beginning of September, when we, we honored uh, Queen Ili'uo Kalani on her 182nd birthday, and, you know, we had from, we were inside of the Iolani Palace and we had, um, let's see, uh, Mar Auntie Marlene Sai as well as, um, yeah, yeah, Auntie Kuipo Kumukahi. And they sang some of the most beautiful mele that either talked, that was written by Lili U or was written for Lili U honoring her. And I think that's such a big part of Hawaiian history. And that's why I think Malia Foundation was so innovative so many years ago to just continue to provide this venue for supporting young ones of and the, really those of any age to continue to document the mo'olelo of today. Right, totally. So that's yeah. so great. Yes. And you know, like Uncle, Uncle and uh, the group Malie would just, you know, go all over the place. They would play music for uh, different halal functions. You know, before in the 80s, they used to have beer bus. Um, <laughs> For as a fundraiser today, we don't have that, <laughs> but <clears throat> but they used to do all kinds of stuff, and and a lot of times it was for free because they wanted to promote themselves, promote Hawaii, um, pro promote music, you know, Hawaiian music, and so um, I think they did well. I believe they did. Right, right. And, you know, um, I think even when we were talking earlier this week, I was saying how I remember the Mokihana Festival were in all different venues throughout Kauai. I mean, I remember it being at the Keka Boat House to the Kekaha um, Neighborhood Center. Neighborhood Center. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's gone to different locations. So that that's really cool, too. Yeah, it was awesome. So that part, you know, having it um, go to the uh, boat house, actually, that, that is when, uh, I believe it was 1987, when Uncle started the hula competition. And it was unique in itself because uh, with the um, support and encouragement of Uncle George, um, George Naope, he uh, told uncle, you know what? You should do a hula competition and do only kane because there's none that's um, happening. And then also add implements. So it was implements are required um, at that time. And then until um, uh, I believe it was 1995, around there, then he, st um, he invited the women um, groups to participate and so he did the requirement only for uh, the uh, kane, group kane and group wahine and so in the hula kahiko you could uh, use or you were required to use traditional implements such as the uli uli and puili ipu you know, and, kamea kamea. and and then the awana it was um, encouraged to um, for the kumu to create if they wanted to and if they did create an implement of course it had to make sound and um, we would give them bonus points so that's another unique part about our festival yeah <laughs> and actually we have a few pictures that you shared with me so Maybe we'll bring that up because I think the beginning ones actually, um, the beginning picture is of the Malie Foundation. So let's see who these amazing three Kane are that really started us off. And let's see, I'm going to make sure I'm on the right slide here. Can you see it? Um, is it showing up? Yes. Okay. Well, I can see it. 
All right. So who is the three? Okay, so the person on the left hand side is Larry Duhai Longsar. And then in the middle is Ekolu Panui. And on the right is, of course, Uncle Nathan. You see their hair. <laughs> <laughs> that was the style back then. <laughs> and it's probably coming back. <laughs> yeah, I love it. You know, I, I remember dancing to them and they were really, uh, I, yeah, I just loved being in their presence. It was always fun and such great um, melee. You know, when you, when you want to dance, Sula, you want to dance to good music and Oh, if the Malie group was up singing, I know all of us back then with uh, Auntie Kapu Salah, we loved getting up and dancing to um, mm -hmm. the Malie Foundation, uh, Malie group. So. Yeah, Malie group. And, you know, they also performed at Mary Monarch, you know, for, you know, Halal there. And so it was, it was really cool. They were well-versed in uh, playing, mu um, playing music, such as um, with their instruments, the upright bass, the guitar, ukulele, piano. And so, um, but when they would play together, majority of the time, Larry would be an upright, Ekolu would be guitar, and Uncle would be ukulele. Um, they all had um, beautiful voices, uh, baritone, very uh, low, and, but they could also sing falsetto, and it was, um, what you call them, Aunt, Auntie uh, Nona Beamer was the one to push them and sing, you know, why don't you sing falsetto so that you have a variety of sound in your delivery and playing music. So it's really cool in how other people um, that are held high in regards, you know, uh, like such as Auntie Nona and Uncle um, uh, George mm. and how they were very inspirational to this movement, uh, the beginning movement of Kauai Mokiana festivals. Oh, so great. Let's see what picture I had next. Oh, I love this picture, you know, because it, it really shows the honor of Uncle Nathan, you know, when he would be like, <laughs> very interactive with the audience at the Kauai Mokihana Festival. Yeah, and that was actually a, one of his signature where he would teach um, the audience on Thursday night. Um, actually, he would start it in the beginning of the week. And then on Thursday night, he would teach the audience uh, to get ready for uh, Ho'okupu to the... Um, the Aloha Week uh, court that we used to host on Friday nights. So they would come, they would enjoy the whole uh, evening, and then they would also, you know, go out. But, you know, just having their presence was really cool. So that was one of his um, ho'okupu to, from the whole audience to actually sing or dance. And it was real nice. So this is one of, the, actually, I believe this is one of the songs that he wrote for Tiki. And it goes like, A'ala, a'ala, e'ena o'opu u'uku So he was, you know, doing that. The other thing is probably maybe Kahuliaku. But anyway. <laughs> oh, I nice. love it. I love it. And look at his nails. Yes. <laughs> That's, yeah, he was, um, he's famous for that. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, and then, yes, this tree. You got to tell us the mo'olelo of this oh, tree. You know what? I would love to. So these are um, some of our board members. Um, and so every year, um, actually, let's, let's go back. So in, ninth, I believe it was 1984, that um, the, Governor Ariyoshi's uh, wife uh, created a beautification, um, Hawaii beautification thing. And so she was going from island to island. And of course, Kauai was one of them that she had some uh, trees um, in pots that you could purchase for $5. <clears throat> and then you would purchase it, you would come, you would um, 
dig the hole and you would plant it and then it was your kuleana responsibility to care for it. So Malie decided, the group Malie decided to purchase a tree and it is located going down to Koloa, so from on Maluhia Road. So if you're coming from say the ton of trees going towards Koloa, um, that's Maluhia. So you're going down the S road and then go straight ahead. You're gonna see these um, trees that are lined up in five. So five on each side and then there's a break and then there's five more and there's a break and five more. So we're, um, these, this tree is in the middle and <clears throat> there's five of them that sits on the right hand side. So you just count one, two, three, and that's the Malie tree. We call it the Malie tree only um, because two, not because they only um, planted it, but um, it, it has a unique mo'olelo. And so if you see that the, the tree looks like it was once uh, three. So what happened was that when they planted it and they would go water it, Every so often, they would play music, they would talk to it, touch it, hug it, and it started to grow. And then all of a sudden, it went out like this. <clears throat> so you had one going out this way, the other one going out this way, and then one going straight up. So when Larry passed away, one from one side came in, and then when, uh, a couple of years later, a kolu passed away and this one came in. So that's why you see, if you look closely in the middle, there's a pico, we call it the pico. And um, so that's the connection to Uncle Nathan. And so it's still strong, it's still growing um, so beautifully. And so every Sunday after our church service, we would um, go and give ho'okupu and say mahalo nui to those two awesome um, individuals that um, started Kauai Mokiana Festivals with Uncle. And, you know, just to invite them to come and just bless us throughout the week. And not only us that's putting it on, but all the volunteers, the donors, the supporters, um, the sponsors, and even the people that come to um, engage in what we have to offer. I love that Mo'olelo because it really, um, you know, it, it may have started off as a, as a part of a beautification project, but I think today, you know, we've learned so much about whether it be um, climate change and the role these kinds of trees and forests play in our environment. But I was also thinking, you know, um, our cultural practice of when you hanau a pepe, and then a lot of times we would canoe the pico or the ieve and, and then plant a tree. And then it's really being able to malama the tree and watch it grow and, you know, nurture it. And I think kind of like what you just said about going there, there and saying mahalo, hugging the tree and just really feeling this connection of growth, you know, and seeing it continue to grow. I, I love that, that you guys were able to do it. I do too. And you know, it's, it's so important. And we, we actually just started it maybe, I would say about uh, 12 to 15 years ago, you know, going to the tree. Um, and it's so important because uncle actually knows every person who planted each tree. And, and what happened on that day. And so I heard it several times, but it never sunk in. <laughs> Kalomai. No, this is great. I, I love that. Okay. Yes. Let's Mahalo. see. Oh, so we have a little video to share with everyone. Do you want to introduce the video? Hi, you know, so this one was um, on... Um, 1987 at, or actually 80, 87? No, 86 um, at the um, Kauai Beach Resort. Um, I believe it was Hilton <laughs> at that time. And um, so they 
uh, introduce the song Malie, and only because um, a lot of people were calling their name, their group name, all different stuff like Malia, <laughs> Maile, Malia, um, and so Malie, <laughs> you know, they would always not call it Malie. So um, Uncle penned this song and we can uh, share it for our viewers. Enjoy. All right. So you see um, in their delivery and in, in music and harmony and the different uh, voices, you know, when, when Larry sung, it was like in that low and then they broke out into their harmony. And then all of a sudden at the end, they went into the falsetto, into the Lebalanis. <laughs> they took us there. <laughs> and so... Yeah, it's amazing and how yeah. talented. Yeah. I love that mele, you know, and I, I love it in that hakumele fashion and Uncle Nathan's way of teaching the audience. He's like, yeah, you're not doing it the right way. So I'm going to tell you how. Listen to my mele and this is how we say it. It's not this, it's not that, it is this. <laughs> and your name is in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you know, um, I want to say I, I can see our friends on Facebook and Pomai Kaigawi, who was with the men of Malui Keao. Yes. Um, Uncle um, Kumupalani Kahala. I remember them coming and Hi. joining us at the Kawaii Mokihana Festival. And he's joining us from Utah. Oh my gosh, just so awesome. Aloha, Pomai Kai. Yeah, uh, and then uh, even uh, um, uh, Aloha to Kale Kaui, he said yes. Anakala is so gifted in these kinds of hakumele. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, Kale has been a really, uh, played a really big part in um, the composer's contest. And you know, Uncle uh, included a youth category at, at one point. Um, and so Kale uh, presented some of his uh, hakumele. It was like amazing. And he's won. Um, top honors and awards. He went home with lots of money. <laughs> so, you know, mahalo kale for um, being an inspiration to all of us. 
uh, and the young, the younger ones, and you continue to do that. So mahalo nui. Mahalo. So you know, I think we have a few more pictures too, and I think the upcoming ones are about the. Wait, before I even say this, maybe we should tell them now already, like. What is Malie Foundation doing for this year's Kawaii Mokihana Festival? We're actually doing it virtually, of course, with everyone because of the guidelines in the state as well as on our island. Um, and you know what? I I want to say mahalo and aloha to our, our our government and our leaders. You know, just doing their best. Sometimes we don't. Uh, agree. Sometimes we have people that do agree, but you know, we live in a place that is so malie and so full of aloha that we should be um, kako'o and kokua kikahi kikahi. And so, you know, um, I just wanted to do that, um, say that shout out, but we are doing it virtually. We're starting it on Sunday, which is the um, our service, but we're going to uh, have it at uh, one of our uh, sponsors, which is the Grand Pacific Resort, and that's going to be at the Makai Club. So we're going to be there, and we're going to chime in with Uncle Nathan um, from the hospital, and, and so we're going to do that. And then after uh, that, we're going to also feature uh, Makeke. Uh, Mokihana Makeke, that's going to be at 2 o'clock, also on social media. And then on s Monday, we have our Composers Contest will be uh, on, of course, on social media again, and that's going to be at 6 o'clock. So what we did this year is we invited composers to submit their uh, information online very simple application you would upload your lyrics and also uh, your video and then we would present it that evening and then later on present the uh, awards ceremony and so we're looking forward to that we have um, right now I believe we have about 10 um, composers and we have two categories it's open and then the other one is Hawaiian. So we're very excited to present that on Monday. Um, and then on Tuesday, we usually have the AOE Liliu, but because of the school situation, uh, we decided to just do a cultural presentation on honoring Liliu. And we're going to also feature um, Kumu Le Kirkpatrick. Um, and she's going to uh, share her hula as well, and then we're gonna just do some mo'olelo of um, our queen and then share some songs. And then the next day, which is Wednesday, we're going to uh, feature presenter Dr. Kualoha Ho'omanawa Nui. Uh, she's going to uh, share about uh, mele inoa traditions. And so that one is very interesting because she's gonna be talking about different mele from different times. So one, uh, there's a chant of Kaumuali'i, and so that's one century, and then there's another one, uh, which is Lili Uokalani, and then, and then the next century is um, a song that was written for Barack Obama. Not saying that Barack it was Ali'i, but he held the status of what we would, call Ali'i here. Um, so, you know, just with uh, respect and honor. And then the um, other thing is, um, you know, Uncle Nathan them wrote, actually Uncle wrote a song uh, way back when for one of his friends, Laka Martin, and they called it Cats, Cats, and then, or Navai Ola. And then it starts with like, cats in the attic, their shells in the wall, a duck on the high chair and hanging glass balls. Rangers kiss lawa, e mai kai no kawaii, hano hano hana lei, kawa nui, e o, navai ola. And then so, anyway, they recorded it on their first, uh, what we call it, C no, not CD, uh, tape, <laughs> cassette. Cassette. <laughs> and they actually presented it. It was um, 
played statewide um, on from, of course, um, I don't know the radio station, but it was one on Oahu. And a lot of people were calling in and Uncle Nathan was live and they were like, some of them are bashing him because why are you chanting in English or, you know, hapa haole and, you know, that was his way to reach those that couldn't understand Hawaiian language. So, you know, that's um, his thing. So anyway, I, I believe, you know, us bringing or Dr. Kualoha Ho'omanawanui uh, bringing this to our community would be an awesome Thing to um, experience and here and then on Thursday um, we did it we usually start our uh, craft fair and then the beginning of the hula competition but since we don't have the whole competition this year I decided to uh, do like small vignettes um, and then I called that uh, Malay University <laughs> So mahalo nui to Manokalanipo University as well as Pu'uhuluhulu University for the inspiration. <laughs> and these are just very small vignettes that will be played throughout the day of interesting facts of Kauai. And so I've gone to different places and um, shared just a little bit of um, what that place is all about. And then on Friday, we have the Hula Ho'ike. So we're featuring those uh, halal that we're going to participate this year. Uh, so they sent in uh, their videos. So we're going to just highlight them. We're also going to highlight um, some of the uh, winners of uh, previous years. And then um, on Saturday, we're going to finish up with, with the Miss Mokihana Hula Kahiko. Yeah, so we have three, actually three contestants right now. And so we're going to feature them on Saturday as well as do some highlights of uh, future events. Yeah. Wow. So, it's very exciting. so exciting. Yeah. And then so whether it's, um, so all of this will be on the Facebook. Yes, so Facebook, we have Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channel. Yeah, and we have two pages. So we have the Malie Foundation page, and we also have the Kauai Mokiana Festivals page. So All click right. on like. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you guys go and like it and follow both the Kauai Mokiana Festival as well as the Malie Foundation pages. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by... and. Similar to Leia Nue Nue, by liking and following these pages, you get the most updated information. And so, you know, stay connected through these organizations and um, community groups in this way. <clears throat> oh, great, great, great. Um, you know, I'm going to bring up, I'm going to fast. Well, actually, I need to return. Oh, yeah. So the Eo Elili'u, um, you know, because Kanayo Kana is made up of many of our Kula Hawaii. And here on, ha uh, here on Kauai, you know, we have three of our Hawaiian charter schools and two of them here on the west side of Kauai and then one in Anahola. And... Tell us a little bit again about AOA Lili'u and I'll bring up some of those photos that I found. Hi, so we, um, Uncle Nathan and uh, Uncle Nathan worked along with the QOCC at that time. Now they're, they're known as Lili'u Kalani Trust, um, along with Kauai Community College uh, to present the AOA Lili'u to honor her, but also he came up with this idea uh, because when he was um, uh, accepted with the Kamehameha schools, it was through uh, QLCC uh, that helped funded his way to um, attend Kamehameha. So this is like his, uh, his give back to the community as what Lili uh, Uokalani did for her people. And so, you know, we, 
you know, he brightens up. Uncle Nathan brightens up as well as everybody else. When they see kids go out there and they shine, when they sing, when they oli, and, you know, it's such a good feeling. You know, this event, we don't have a venue big enough to host. Uh, we went from the KCC Auditorium, which holds 550 people, to going to the Kauai War Memorial, which holds um, about 1,100 people. And, um, and it went like instantly. And, you know, this event specifically to honor Lili'u, but also honor our children, our next generation that will continue on the legacy of our kupuna as well as ourselves, you know, and what we do. So we, again, we have to encourage them to do so. And they do, you know, they do it well. We're, we're showing them how to uh, present themselves in a well manner um, to Oli, uh, to do Ho'okupu, whether it's lei or himeni or oli, um, to also respect each other. This is another venue that also brings the children from these uh, schools that olelo Hawaii. And that is the, the real deal. And when they come, it's all done. Actually, in the very beginning, they do... Uh, the announcements in English, but then the rest of the time is olelo hapai paleno. So it's uh, very unique. Uh, regardless if those that come to witness this event don't know Hawaiian, they will feel it. They will they will gain it. Plus the people that's sitting around them kind of help them out and translate for them. So that's kind of cool. Where the kids go, oh. They'll, they'll ask the kid, you know, lean over, oh, what are they seeing? And then yeah, the kids yeah. would cocoa them. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I is. think um, this photo here on the left is the Punana Leo kid, Keikiya from yeah, yeah. Punana Hawaii. Leo. Um, yeah, so they always come and they would uh, present just Ho'okupu. This is uh, between the, the actual uh, competition, singing competition and the awards. So as the auditors uh, tally the scores, they come and they present their um, Ho'okupu to our, our queen. And then I found these photos that seem like it's a choir kind of a presentation. It is. And you know, they actually started this like maybe I would say about five or six years ago where they upped their game. And so from, from the very beginning, they'll just come with only aloha wear. And then the next year they would come, everybody would be wearing the same color, um, maybe white, white long sleeve with black pants. And then the girls would wear white dresses with maybe the same color lace or different lace. So then now they would be in uniform. And then we also have a ha'i olelo where they would select um, one representative from their age group to introduce the song and their, um, their uh, what you call that, their classmates or their group of what they're um, actually singing. And of course, again, it's all done in Olelo Hawaii. Now, the other thing is that you see uh, that boy in the green, uh, yellow green, and his hands are up. Yeah. That's Kamahao. And so you see him on Sundays at, on his own show. Yeah. Uh, so he actually did it one year and it was, it, it was a crowd pleaser to see that. Um, and then, you know, other people started, I mean, other schools started um, encouraging and doing that, that as well. So, you know, then you start having uh, leadership um, and teaching that as well in the schools. So it's really nice to see how they grew from being uh, in Punana Leo, then going to 
Papa Malao all the way to uh, Papa Umi Kumalua and then Puka. Puka Kula. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's amazing. And they would take these experiences every year and uh, Ho'oma'o in their lives. Awesome. Yeah. That's such a great um, thing. And I was just wondering, is it one group per kula or different grades or how do they enter? Yeah, actually they have two per school. So you have the K through, K through five and then six to 12. And so they do two songs um, per group. Um, and then they would present themselves um, and the past four years we've been encouraging encouraging them to hakumele so if they do choose to haku and usually it's the uh, higher grade so the, the 6 to 12 would do that and if they did then they would uh, receive uh, 20 extra points and so the schools would all do that and challenge is it's amazing I wish we could um, share uh, one of their things but you know what you could probably go and search it on one of the uh, Facebook <laughs> people maybe yeah. Kamahao has it on his page <laughs> yeah 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 no that's so great and again I love the hakumele uh, and encouraging that because, you know, for so many of our kumu or ohana that are out there looking for good curriculum or, you know, I mean, I think that's such a, that would be a great ha'avina in itself. I, is encouraging your ohana, maybe working as an ohana or as a, as an individual, um, to, to haku amele about these times and what your ohana is going through. Right. That, that may be really cool. We've had workshops um, in, the, in the past for these schools, and we also opened it up to publics um, other times and featuring, uh, like we had one time, uh, Kainani Kahonaile, who shared her uh, manao with us. And then she also shared it with your um yes your thing i remember um i i, I forget what was it, it was actually it was the first episode yeah oh no february yeah march march she march. came on and talked about a few of her melee yes and how how that what she does and her process of haku melee yes and then she also came to kawaii and did something at kukui grove so that was awesome <laughs> with you and so, you know, we have to tap into these resources and no be shame. No be shame. Just kaheram. Because they're living, these people have recorded, they've um, composed. If you need kokua, call them. Call yes. them and ask them for help because they were once in that shoes, you know, and growing up. And, and that's part of our kuleana is to kokua. And, you know, yeah. since you brought up Kaimani, I wanted to make sure we sent our aloha out to Lady Ipo. Because she's been such a big part of the Kawaii Mokihana Festival. And just as a musician and an amazing vocalist. And, you know, uh, we love Lady Ipo and we love dancing to Lady Ipo's mele as well. <laughs> yes. And, you know, she just brings so much love and light into our community, um, especially, you know, at parties. And, and in fact, tonight, I believe she has a live that she's coming on. And so she's going to be celebrating their uh, birthday month because there's a lot of uh, family members in the Kahaunaile uh, and I believe Panui um, Ohana that they're going to um, just share their love for music and, and possibly hula. So Auntie Ipo actually is known as the fourth Malie. <laughs> the fourth Malie. Because she, you know, played a really big part. There is a um, photo of them in Uncle Ethan's house uh, with the, the 
three guys and then of course Auntie Ipo in the middle. So it's you know really nice. I wish I had that video to share. I mean that photo to share, but I will kia. But shout out to Auntie Mahalo Nui for um the inspiration and the support. Cool. So you know I um when you send me over some pictures, I chose this one because you know, one thing I really loved about, again, as you shared earlier, in when the um, girls were, it, I think it was even for the Kane, right, to when they compete, that they would do an implement for the Awana. And if it's a new implement, they get extra points. And so what's this implement that Troy Lazaro's Halal used? Yeah, they actually use it. It's a cheerleading um, theme. And so, of course, uh, with the hula competition, we also uh, encourage the kumo or whoever that they're connected with to compose. And then if they do that, one, if they're the composer from Kauai, they do a Kauai song, they get extra points. They create an implement um, such as this that makes sound they would um, also uh, get bonus points as well. <laughs> so you know what, this is also a crowd pleaser to everyone. And you know, he's very innovative um, and sometimes out of the box, like Uncle Nathan. Yes. And so, <laughs> like really out. <laughs> so um, that's what it's all about, you know, is yeah. bringing, bringing joy into our world. Exactly, you know, and since you um, we you mentioned Troy Lazaro and being like Uncle Nathan, I also wanted to say and honor um, Troy's one of Troy's kumus, Doric Yaris, who was a big part of our lives here on Kauai too. I and wanted to send aloha to his keiki that's still carrying on, you know, a lot of that musical talent. Kavaiola Yaris. So I wanted yeah. to say aloha to the Yaris Ohana. Hi, and you know, um, Doric and Mommy um, started the Kaleo Club International um, a while ago, and then they had their halal and um, halal hula hal ileo. And, um, but they were also a big part of the Kauai Mokihana festivals as auditors and hosts in the very beginning. And then I used to participate uh, so that, you know, we could kua uncle so that there's participation because sometimes we had like only two kalao um, participate sometimes four sometimes six but uncle made a really uh, great program he started at seven o'clock he ended at 12 <laughs> with just having two you know halal but you know it was it was what it was and like you know going back to uh when we had it in the uh, the hula competition at the kikaha boathouse and then later on and that was with uh the support of ray bluen and then with uh the mayor uh mayor brian baptiste creating that hula mound at the kikaha neighborhood center for kawaii mokiana festivals with the aloha of um, Auntie um, Olores. Um, yeah, Auntie Kanai. Kanai, yeah. Auntie Kanai um, and the Olores Ohana and the uh, community of Kekaha. Just to bring everybody together. It was wonderful, but it was hard work, you know, putting on with the, um, the cameras, the lighting, uh, the tents, and Kamea Kamea. But anyway, we did it. It was history. Hopefully we can um, bring something back to life on that um, hula mound. That hula mound, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so great. Let's see. I know I had a few more photos here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is this from the um, composer's contest? It's from the composer's contest. And this is, uh, I believe, um, the um, his last name is Kaawai. <laughs> And um, uh, this, with the help of um, and guidance of Kale, um, Kale Kaui, 
uh, these gentlemen come from Kamehameha School, so they entered one year, um, and they were fabulous. Yeah, so they they made their way to uh, Kauai from Oahu and shared their aloha through their composition. Nice. So the composer's contest wasn't just about the writing of the mele and submitting that. They would also um, have to come and perform it? Yes. And so, of course, this year, because we can't go into a venue, we uh, encourage them to uh, let us or invite us into their space and then submit a video that we're going to uh, present on Monday. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. And um, yes. Vai is saying that it's Kaimana Kaawai. Kaimana, yes, Kaimana. Mahalo <laughs> Nui. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, okay, so yeah, so tell us again, Maka, about how we can um, make sure that we tune in to all of the Kawaii Mokihana Festival events, and that's starting this coming Sunday, correct? Yeah, Sunday, so September 20th to the 26th, every day there's something. Um, if you miss this or if you miss seeing the uh, the calendar of events, you can search it at our website at www.maliefoundation.org. That's M A L I E foundation.org. <laughs> or you can go on our Facebook page, uh, which we have two again that's Malie Foundation page as well as the Kauai Mokiana Festivals. We do have Instagram, and then we'll also have the um, our link connect to our. YouTube web channel, um, yeah, web, web yeah. channel. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello, and you know, I think um, we're going to work on some partnerships so we can cross post yes. and really share this with a larger audience because, you know, our world really needs to be a part of the Kauai Mokihana Festival. Hi, Pololei. And you know, I just learned about this. I'm not very much, you know, in the technology part. And we have great support in that area. And so anyway, with the help of your, you um, and sharing that mana'o, I got a chance to work with OHA to bring them on. So hopefully today um, they got that um, cross um, along with myself. And then um, I would also like to say mahalo to them and the Hawaii Tourism Authority, the Hawaii Community Foundation, uh, Grand Pacific Resorts, Kukui Ula Development, and the uh, ANB Properties, the County of Kauai as well for their um, support every year so that we can present Kauai Mokiana festivals. This year, I w you know, we were debating, our board was debating, oh, should we have it, maybe cancel it? And I was thinking, you know, we could just do one event. And then after talking about it, the next month, oh, maybe we should add another one. Then the next one, oh, maybe we should add another one. And so we created all of this beautiful things. And I think this would be really cool to present to the community. Mahalo. And um, just so excited, you know, because I think that's one blessing that's coming out of this time during the pandemic is that so many organizations are turning to virtual events, just like the Malie Foundation. And we get to in include so many more people around the world. And hopefully when I mean, we're all hoping, right, for that time when we can all get face to face again. Uh, and maybe our friends from all over will come and continue to be a part of the Kauai Mokihana Festival. I totally. And you know what? What's really uh, cool is that we reach out to, of course, the world, and we've had um, uh, people different groups or different um, halal participate from all over the world. So this year we have the um, halal as well as co a composer from uh, participating in our event from Japan. Uh, we have from California, um, Washington, of course from the 
different islands, our neighbor islands. So we're very excited to host this. The other thing is that we, uh, again, worked with a promoter in Japan and they're called Kahula Hoa. And uh, this year was our first year under uh, my direction to present Kauai Mokiana festivals in Japan, Yokohama, Japan. And that was held in uh, February of this year. They're so excited. It was very successful that, you know, they're, they're very much involved. And, and so they're doing wonderful things up, up, up there. Um, and then including um, us as well. So it's very nice to work with each other to uh, promote Hawaii in the right way. <laughs> yes, yes. Awesome. So maybe some closing words before I bring up our last few slides here. Again, I wanted to mahalo nui to um, you and Kanayo Kana and all of the uh, people that are involved into creating this Le Anue Nue um, and all the partners that uh, we, that support this um, intention. Um, I would also like to say mahalo to all the viewers for chiming in uh, from all over the world. And please uh, share aloha. And aloha is a very big word. It's not just that small word that people just think that it's a hello and goodbye kind of thing or even love. It means so much more. And when we look at this, like this is aloha. Looking at you is aloha. Looking at your popale, looking at Uncle Nathan in the back, that's aloha all in itself. And so um, we we are looking forward to presenting Kauai Mokihana festivals in that aloha way. And so mahalo nui. Yeah, mahalo. And you know, I see Auntie Ipo joined us. So I wanted to again say hi to Auntie Ipo. Sending aloha from um, Ka from here on my side of Kauai to your side of Kauai, Auntie. You know what? There's actually a surprise that we're going to do on, on Monday for the Composers Contest. So Auntie Ipo at, at the first annual, um, they, Uncle Nathan uh, wrote a song called Gingers in the Water. And so that song was... Um, presented as the beginning of the composer's contest, the first composer's contest. And so Auntie Ipo came out of the swimming pool on the stage of the Kauai War Memorial <laughs> and depicting the pond. And then she came out and she was dancing gingers in the water. <laughs> and so it was so um, cool. And I was trying to look for the video to share, um, but it got damaged during the um, Hurricane Iniki. Um, so um, there's actually uh, a surprise that time. So I want you guys to tune in and watch. And so Auntie Ipo, thank you so much uh, for uh, your love and support. Great. So I'm going to bring up our closing slides. Mahalo again to you, Maka, for sharing all of this wonderful mo'olelo about the Malie Foundation, but also about Kauai Mokihana Festival. It's played such a big part in our community here in Kauai and just celebrating in the manner that the Malie, um, you know, the, the three original, well, now we know it's the four Malie, including <laughs> yes. um, that really got started to to share this aloha that you just mentioned. So, uh, doing? Yes. Again, so, tune in to um, go find out more information on the website, and you can see it here on your screen, maliefoundation.org. Again, you can connect with Malie Foundation on their Facebook, Instagram, as well as YouTube channels. So such a great um, resource and so many events starting on Sunday at 10 a.m. with um, Uncle Nathan and the Board of Directors doing a Sunday service. As Aye. always, um, we ask you to help us serve you better by answering a few questions. And you can go on to our short survey at kanayokana.net slash survey. Again, it just takes a few minutes, but it really helps us to 
get a glimpse as what at what you think and if you like this kind of programming should we continue this um we just love having your mana'o there and yeah again takes a few few minutes um we always enjoy bringing lei anuenue as well as aikole into your social media stream so lei anuenue is every friday at 9 a.m and then aikole is with our our good friend maka ekela kani alpi okrozier i love her yeah and so ekela is the host of aikole it's uh very similar to lei anuenue but it's maka olelo hawaii vale no so it's done all in Hawaiian and similarly, there's so many great topics that are shared there and discussions. And then you get to bring your mea'ai and you get to ai kole kole with each other. So come back and join uh, Ekela at 12 p.m. And you can always find out more information um, on our schedule and our links there. A big mahalo to our partners who assist us with getting this out onto our social media streams. Um, of course, it's always a great collaboration with Kanayo Kana and Hawaii Nui Akea. Continue to follow us on our Facebook as well as Instagram pages. And that's how you can always find out what's coming next and what kind of surprises similar to the Kauai Mokihanda Festival. We love having surprises and sharing that with all of you in our community. So again, aloha and come on back and join us. Aloha. We hope. We hope.